Hi, my name is Killian Reardon. Uh, I'm Senior Performance Coach at Leicester Rugby and today I'm going to take you guys through some basic power and strength exercise you can use to train at home for the next few weeks. Okay, so once you've finished your own general warm-up, what we'll do is move into some uh, low-level plyometrics to begin with. So we're going to start with a single leg multi-directional hop and stick. So what we're looking for here is first and foremost control. So now we'll step up the intensity, a step anyway, um, with a pogo. So what we're looking for in this exercise is to produce force using mostly the ankle joint. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do a set of 10. I'll start off with a nice low intensity rep and then build the height that I'm jumping through through the set of 10 so you can get a feel for what that build in intensity looks like. So again, what we're looking for is that you push off the ground so you're nice and light and snappy every time you make a ground contact as opposed to pushing into the ground and stamping. And secondly, you'll see when I'm doing this exercise, as I'm in the air, I'm repositioning my toe back up towards my knee. So when I hit the ground again, I'm ready to push off again for my next rep and my next. So now we'll move on to a bigger exercise um, involving producing force at your ankle, knee and hip and getting some lateral movement. So it's, a, it's an exercise that relates quite well to sidestepping and change of direction movements that we do on the pitch. So we're gonna start with our feet just under our hips in a nice, nice athletic position. And we're gonna start pretty much standing on one leg. So whatever leg you're standing on, that's the direction you're ultimately gonna go. I'm standing on my right leg. Ultimately, I'm pushing off to my right. So I'll stand on that right, step out to the left, push off, go, land on two feet. So we'll come back and do a slightly faster rep. This time we go to the left. So we start on the left, step to the right, push off, go, land on your feet. And remember, this exercise is not about being really fast, it's about being really powerful. So staying with the theme of uh, big plyometric movements, um, we're gonna now go into one which involves a bit more repetition. So we're gonna go into a triple broad jump or three consecutive broad jumps and it just builds another demand into the exercise. It's still a big movement, it's still producing power at hip, knee and ankle, but now you're gonna do it repetitively over three reps. So let's dive in and do a demo. Okay, so during this period where you're training at home and your access to equipment might be restricted, um, the best thing that you can do is maintain your muscle mass. So make sure that you don't lose a lot of muscle mass during this period. If you get back to training and playing sports um, close to the amount of muscle mass you had before this period of isolation, then you'll be able to claw your way back to those high levels of performance pretty quickly. If you lose a lot of muscle mass, we've got more problems to solve later on. So the way you build muscle really is with time under tension. So the more time your muscle is active within an exercise, the more stimulation that muscle gets to grow, the more likely you are to keep the muscle mass that you have and to continue to build muscle mass. So what we've done is build in a six second eccentric into some of our um, basic movement patterns for this home workout. What a six second eccentric means is that you count for six seconds on your way down. So you have a really slow descent to the bottom of lifts and then power up the other side.
So a good little finisher you can do at the end to build more time under tension through the legs is a wall hold. Um, maybe start with something like 30 seconds in each position. By each position I mean um, 30 seconds with hips above the knee and then 30 seconds with hips below the knee. And then maybe you can build on that time interval by 5 seconds in each position per session that you do.